Good morning. Today is Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. My name is Lilia, and in today's video, we're going to follow up with my QQQ J Lizard with the wing. Today's video is part four of this series. Before I start today's lesson, I'd like to thank my Patreon members for making this video possible. And now I present to you our lesson for today. I am using the Think or Swim trading platform, which is part of TD Ameritrade. In front of us is the options chain for QQQ. And at the bottom of this page, you will see my trade, the Jade Lizard with the added wing. This trade was placed on July 8, 2020, so that was almost 30 days ago. A traditional J Lizard is a combination of a credit call spread plus one naked put. And because the naked put makes a lot of people nervous, I decided to add this long put here as a wing for a little protection on the downside. This trade is still a net credit trade. So the maximum potential profit on this trade is simply the sum of my two credits minus the cost to pay for these two long options. So if you add everything up, my initial credit was $4.37. I've got one contract, so the max profit on this trade is $437. Assuming that I hold this trade all the way until expiration, which is August 21st. This trade still has 17 days remaining, and in order for this trade to be 100% successful at expiration, the queues need to stay between my two short strikes. So that is 246 and 270. Today, the queues rose 89 cents and now it has crossed above 270. So now it is dipping into my short call strike. My short call option is now in the money by around 30 cents. If you come all the way over to the right hand side under PL open, you will see that this trade currently has a profit of $127. My short put has a lovely profit of $474. My long call has a profit of $42, but my long put has a loss of $252, and my short call has a loss of $136. So if you add everything up, that gives me a net profit of $127 as of today. $127 is about 90%, I'm sorry, it's about 29% of the maximum profit of $437. So I am not quite at the 50% mark, 50% of max profit. Normally, I like to hold my trades until I have reached that point. Right now, my profit is only 29% of the max profit. So the question is, should I go ahead and close the trade and take this profit? Or should I leave it open and try to get some more money out of this trade? So we're going to take a look at a few things to help us make that decision. The number one thing to look at is the delta. We're going to look at both the delta and the theta. With all things being equal, if the Q's continue to rise moving forward, my trade, my position, is going to lose $8.21 for each dollar that the Q's rise. Meanwhile, I've also got theta time decay. My position is going to gain six dollars and 29 cents for each day that passes so if the queues continue to rise 
that's going to hurt my trade. But theta time decay is going to help the trade. I mentioned earlier that my short call option with a straight price of 270 is now in the money. So are we in danger of getting early assignment on the short call? In case you're wondering, the answer is yes. You can still get early assignment on a short call even if it's part of a spread. What you need to look out for is does the underlying have a dividend coming up? So now that my short call is in the money, I do need to worry about early assignment. So I need to find out if there's a dividend coming up and if there is, how much is the dividend amount? So I'm going to open up this information right here by clicking on this little arrow thing. So we can see that the Q's paid a dividend in June, which was about two months ago. So that means I'm not expecting another dividend anytime soon. Early assignment on a short call happens if the dividend amount is greater than the remaining extrinsic value of the short call. So coming back up over here, we can see that my extrinsic value is $5.70. My intrinsic value is $0.34. Cents. That means my short call is only $0.34 cents in the money, but I still have $5.70 of time value remaining, which is a lot. Even if there was a dividend coming up, I know for a fact that the dividend amount is not going to be $5. So this analysis tells me that even though my short call is currently in the money, I am not at risk of early assignment. And again, I want to remind you that assignment on a short call is very different from assignment on a short put. Assignment on a short call means that the broker is going to sell for you 100 shares of the underlying stock. And you're going to end up with 100 shares of short stock in your portfolio. That is very different from owning 100 shares of long stock. This trade was placed on July 8. Let's take a look at the charts and see what has happened since July 8. So on July 8, the queues are right here in this region. It was trading between 256.5 and 260.02. Today it is trading at 270. So the queues have gone up over $10 since I placed the trade. It did go down a little right there, but then it has continued higher and today it had set a new all-time high. So 60% of the assets in the queues are technology stocks. And right now the tech sector is pretty strong. So there's a very high chance that the queues may continue to rise in the next 17 days, which means then that my profit on this trade may start to go down moving forward. If you take a look at this short put right here, you can see that right now it is trading at 80 cents. That means my short put has only 80 cents or $80 left of value. So on the put side, I'm going to make at most another $80. Meanwhile, on the call side, I can lose a lot more money if the queues continue to go higher. And that is the reason my delta is a negative $8. For a trade like this, if the stock continues to rise, that is actually a bad thing. So what do you guys think? If you had a trade like this, 
would you go ahead and close it and just take this profit or would you leave it open the profits will start rising only if the queues go back down and stays between 246 and 270 write in the comments and let me know how you would handle a trade like this thank you for watching